Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today we're going to be like reacting to and like re-answering my quickfire assumptions we did a year ago. Byron started this trend last year and since he has done this again, basically where he watches it back, answers, seeing if he was like telling the truth, lying, what his answer is now. Kate did it as well. I think Kate did like the year along first um, and her thing was like, was she lying like kind of last year? So we're gonna mix them both and basically we're gonna re-answer the questions and see what our answers were last year. I have not watched this video since. To be honest, I can't actually really remember any of the questions and that is honest truth. So I'm gonna get it up on my iPad now. I'm gonna put it next to me on the screen so you guys can watch it at the same time. My iPad's dead. Cool. I'll just watch it on my phone, actually. Byron didn't watch his as he did it, but Kate did. Because I want to see what my answers were and see if I was telling the truth or not as well. Because I'm sure there's probably a question about money or something in there, let's be honest. Quick. I did two of these, I'm pretty sure, but we'll do the first one. Because my brother... Yeah, quick for our assumptions. Oh, true or false. One year ago, I had 62,000 views. Wow. Oh, no, I've done three. Oh, which one should I answer? Quick for our assumptions, you have to answer everything. Like, that was the first original one. Quick for our assumptions challenge part two. We really did answer everything. I feel like we have to do the first one, don't we? Oh, the 21st of May. The other one was... And the other one was the 8th of July. I feel like the second one's juicier, you know, because the first one, my brother asked me all the questions. Well, I'll do part one. I feel like we have to do the first one. And then if you guys want me to do a part two of this one where we redo the second one, because that's the one where I talk about my ex and boys and money, I'm pretty sure, because my brother asked me the questions in this one. So, oh, I feel like I look really different. Go. Go. Uh, you smoke. No. Uh, Not even like socially drunk, I actually don't smoke. Still don't smoke, wasn't lying. Mm, uh, <laughs> oh, God. You struggle with body confidence. Um, yeah, I guess so. Everyone does a bit, don't they? Like, Not me. But I'm working on it, like day to day. Not as much really anymore, I don't think. Oh, no, I don't think I do at all now, really. I'm very happy in my body. I would actually say no, I don't. She was like, she was like I was like, everyone has their days. I feel like I don't really have my days anymore. Maybe I do sometimes. But like, generally, I'm very, very confident in my body. I don't really struggle with anything like that anymore. <laughs> You're very close with your family, Lam. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have experimented with birds. <laughs> <laughs> No, still no. You're low key up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I'm quite actually like, we just said about body confidence, not like conscious about my looks, but I wouldn't say I'm up myself at all. <laughs> I would say I'm quite up myself. <laughs> no, I'm not up myself, but I feel like to some, to boys, I feel like I could verge on cocky these days. But I'm not cocky, I'm not up myself. I'm just very confident and know what I want and like my worth, which I feel like some people might take as up myself. I'm not up myself, generally. I think I'm very, everyone kind of says I'm very like down to earth and very like a humble. I don't really like the word humble because I feel like there's nothing to be humble about. But I am generally a very down to earth person. I'm not up myself at all, but I am very confident now. <laughs> you want to have your own clothing line one day. Oh, that's the dream. That's, that's the dream. The we were on live yesterday talking about having merch. That would be- Oh, we were on live yesterday talking about merch. We did it. Oh. We did it. I remember that live. Oh, because this was in May in lockdown. I remember that. We did it. <laughs> oh. The ultimate dream. You, that man think you're a lesbian. <laughs> really? Yeah, loads of people. You broke up with your last boy so that you could be single at uni. Oh. Oh. Um. I guess, but not like single so that I could like see other people and sleep with boy it was like single so that i can like just get a fresh start just yeah just focus on me and not really have to care about anyone else true i thought i was gonna lie then um yeah that is true but that's kind of like really old news now like now we're talking like that was like two three years ago you felt pressured to drink and do drugs at uni no not at all i always said this i thought there'd be a lot more like drugs around me but all of my close friends i like, actually don't touch them at all i feel like i've come into contact with that kind of that side of uni more now but i will never and like never have felt any pressure to do any drugs or even drink i feel like i'm getting more like 
willpower even around drinking because sometimes I don't want to because I like the gym and I don't like being hungover and stuff like don't get me wrong we know I love a drink I do love getting drunk but like day day to day like week to week like I don't want to be getting drunk all the time and this year although we're only a few months in I feel like I've finally kind of been like mm, no like not tonight I'm still gonna come out I'm still gonna have fun but like no I'm okay I don't even want to drink uh, you've got over 10 grand in your bank account <laughs> I wish no way no way uh, yes <laughs> You want to drop out of uni to do YouTube full time? Uh, no. No, there's some, some times where I'm like, where I'm focusing on like YouTube a bit more and I'm like, I wish I had more time, but I don't want to drop out of uni. Um, I think the same. Like sometimes I think, well, that would be so easy. That would be so much fun. Like I can't wait till I'm done with uni so that I can like give my all to this because this is what I love and this is what I enjoy and this is what I want to do. But I never like wish I could drop out because I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever drop out. You want surgery? <laughs> Um, no, I never get surgery. I'm always on the fence if I'd actually get lip filler and I really want jaw filler, but I don't know if I'd ever actually do it. True, still. I don't think I'd ever get lip filler now. I don't think I'd bother, but sometimes I still think about jaw filler. I mean, I kind of look like I have a jaw right now, but I don't think I ever would. Or like, I feel like I know I wouldn't because there was a few people in my DMs like a few weeks ago, like a month ago, who were offering me free filler. And I feel like if I really wanted it, I would have snatched it up. Yeah, I feel like I'd never bother going through with it. Um, especially because you see people like Molly Mae even like get it all dissolved. Right, you like Chris more than Matt. <laughs> no, no, we did this and I'll say it or shot it. No, I don't have a favourite. They're good for different things. They are good for different things. Wish you were more like your old self. Ooh. In like fitness and that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, probably to be honest. Yeah, it's not something she ever mentions. Yeah, I do wish I was more like her. No, I am her. <laughs> yeah, I think I always wished I would get back to it, and here we are, so brilliant. You've kissed more than five fellas in one night. No, no, <laughs> I have not. I don't even know if I've kissed two in one night. Still no. You currently <laughs> have a crush on someone. No, I actually don't. Maybe. You've got a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. I always get sugar daddies DM me. I'm always so tempted to reply, but I do not have a sugar daddy. No. Still the same. Don't have one. Kind of wish I did. Probably could if I wanted to, because they're in the DMs. Who knows if they're actually real, but I say I wish I would. I want to be my own sugar daddy. You'd rather get drunk for a night out than go sober? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Probably not now. I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm less, like kind of feel the need less to get really drunk. Like, the thought of actually being like really drunk on a night out now like kind of like cringes me out because I just do like cringy things and say cringy things and like feel horrible the next day. So I feel like probably not. Like I'd probably rather be like sober slash tipsy than like really drunk. You prefer your uni flatmates to your friends from home? Oh, <laughs> um, you know what, probably, probably not. I love you guys, but like, I don't know, I have friends at uni that are like equivalent best friends of my friends at home, but like there's four of us at home and I'm cheap, but like my friendship group at home is like, we're so, like really solid. I would say I've got like a group of three, we're like a three here and we're like a three at home. Um, I would say we're pretty like on par. I just love them all so much. I'm so lucky I have like the four bestest friends ever. You got six digits in your bank account. <laughs> I don't have 10k, I did not have six digits in my- People think I earn so much more than I do. Don't have six digits in my bank account, no. <laughs> you wish you hoed around more. <laughs> <laughs> what is that even meant to mean? <laughs> no? No, I don't better think so. Um, no, I don't wish I hoed around more, obviously not. But I... Am I going to contradict myself? I wish I'd spent, like, more time alone. Kind of... Not as, not I wish I didn't, but because I don't, I wouldn't regret anything. But I feel like I could have done with some more time alone before my last relationship. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> um, you wish you had more subscribers. I think um, that's obvious though. Everyone wants more, don't they? I don't. Interesting. Um, I think I. Mm, I don't like wish I had more. Like right now, this second, I like. I like like working for them, so I think if someone went, oh here, I'll just give you whatever, I'd probably say like, no, because I like the reward, so like, I don't know, that's a bit of a hard one. You know what, I was thinking about this this morning, because obviously we hit 100k back in December, and since then I've literally gained like 3k, but I was thinking like, I no longer feel the need to like really work towards them, like push for like more and more subscribers, because I feel like I have the best subscribers ever, I don't get any hate, you guys are so supportive, 
um i don't really feel the need to like i feel like that plaque and just like the 100k like status like i was like gagging for it i don't feel like i really like i don't get down about my subscriber count like i don't ever feel the need to like really push and, like more and more obviously i like i want to grow in terms of just like that shows you're successful but even that like i'm very content i'm making good money for like what i need i'm comfortable i love you guys like i don't know yeah i feel like i don't that's not my main source of like motivation anymore i don't think you are fake on youtube um i don't think so i think i'm quite i think in the beginning i wasn't fake but i was like a bit more conscious of like what i was doing and what i was saying and trying to be a bit more like whatever but i think now i'm very much myself yeah i think i'm pretty similar i think people think that of me as well like i just feel me like i don't like i said at the beginning i was probably more like just like in my shell a bit or whatever but i feel like now like especially like with the weekly vlogs like yeah you what you see is what you get like i'm very just i'm used to this now like it's uh, yeah i'm just me bro <laughs> you're a snob <laughs> i want to add here that the person then sent another question and said i don't actually think you're a snob i love you <laughs> You do. Um, I don't think I'm a snob. Nah, I'm not a snob. I'm not snobby. I don't care. I'm very easily pleased. I don't I'd, even know what a snob is, to be honest. Like, stuck up. I don't think I'm a snob at all. You want to move to London? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'd ever... Nah, I wouldn't move to wanna London. Wanna live... I don't want to move to London now, anyway. Definitely not. <laughs> you send your garbage back after you've done a haul. Yeah! <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, no, I haven't done that. Like since then, if I do hauls now, it's hauls of stuff I'm actually buying or like, well, I don't even know the last time I did a gifted haul. Um, I don't do hauls, I don't think I've literally done a haul since then. Yeah, if I've done a haul that's not gifted, most of the time, like, at least 90% of it goes back. Uh, you've had a pregnancy scare. No. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're scared of putting the wrong perception of yourself online. Um, yeah, I, I guess. But I don't know if it's the wrong it. perception or just like more I'm very cautious not to paint like a picture perfect image and that like young girls are watching me so not the wrong image of myself I'm sometimes like conscious that you know people would look up to me maybe um I feel like I'm not really conscious of like anything anymore as long as like you know I'm not harming anyone I'm just very happy like kind of like doing what I'm doing and not like yeah I don't know I don't think I'm careful with what I say anymore either like, like I said as long as I'm not harming anyone as long as I'm not offending anyone, I'm kind of just kind of a bit more open and like not cautious that someone like might pull me up on something or like, I don't know, like I think I'm a bit less cautious of anything and more just like happy to like be me and say me and like do me as well because like I said, like I'm so happy with like the subscribers I have, like you guys are so lovely and I feel like because we're like not small knit, obviously there's like 20k people who probably watch like each of my videos. I don't know. I feel like I'm less cautious and I don't really almost care what kind of image I paint of myself. Not I don't care, God, this is gonna come off weird. But like now I'm very much like, if someone leaves a comment or like if someone doesn't like something I've said or they think that I'm one way or the other, I'm like, oh, you don't actually know me. Like I had a comment before a while ago and I'm pretty sure my mum sent me it and was like, oh my God, like look where are, um, my mum was always <laughs> um, more annoyed at hate comments than me because I've just developed the mindset of like, like you don't know me especially if you watch like one video like you don't know me so like feel free to comment what you want to comment you know what i've let you know about me like you don't actually know me do you know what i mean so i think you just have to remember that there's people on the internet so i think before i might have like hated them people and been like more careful because i wouldn't have wanted someone to say this 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 about me but like and that makes me sound like i'm really ruthless and careless i'm not my videos are very genuine i don't really talk about like anything crazy i feel like i'm a bit less cautious maybe you get along with boys easier than girls um, I don't actually have a lot of guy mates, but I think I do get along well with... Oh! oh see. And that is the time! Mate, we didn't even get that like, halfway through them. Really? I'm sure there's probably bare funny ones that I missed, but... Um, no, I don't have any guy mates still, really. I think you can get on with boys fine because I've got brothers, but yeah, I don't. I just get on better with boys than girls, no. Um, I've never really had like... Oh no, I used to have a group of like guy mates, but they were like my boyfriend's group. Um, but I did get on with them all very well. Like, I do like having, like, guys around. But I don't really have a guy group here at uni. We don't have one at home. But, yeah, I do enjoy 
like guys companies i think they're fun i guess that's it that wasn't very juicy i feel like i definitely skipped out some questions there because some of them were just like you want a sister right right because my brother was reading them and because i was answering in front of my brother i feel like i held that a bit back a bit i think the other one would be more interesting which is like even on the thumbnail it's how to friends with benefits i made over 10k lied for a brand deal you're fake secret boyfriend five figures in the bank if you want me to react to that one let me know and we can do that again because I feel like that would be fun. I feel like that one's better. But there is that, I guess. I can't really remember what I've answered now or if any of them were even that juicy. But let me know if you liked it. As I said, let me know if you want a part two down below and we'll answer the more juicy round where I ask them to myself because then I'm a bit less ruthless. No, a bit more ruthless even. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.